guys. Long time no update. Um, sorry, just put a really big piece of skinny chocolate in my mouth. I didn't think the uh, video would start that fast. Sorry, it's been one of those days where I needed chocolate. Anyway, so I am here to give you a one month update on how I'm doing back on um, Trim Healthy Mama and talk to you a little bit about what I've been doing. So, <laughs> sorry. Okay. First off, if you have not made skinny chocolate with a defatted peanut flour in it to make it like peanut butter chocolate, you're missing out. You should definitely do that. Okay, so we are one month in and I have lost six pounds. Whee! And you may be thinking, that's not a whole bunch. Well, for me it is. Um, considering that over the past few months, my weight has done nothing but steadily climb. Going the opposite way now is such a blessing. Um, so this month, I took it easy as I was starting to kind of transition myself back into the Trim Healthy Mama lifestyle. Um, it started by getting rid of the stuff in the house that were triggers for me that um, that I could get rid of. Um, there are some things, obviously, because I have four children and a husband who are not necessarily, pardon me, <laughs> not necessarily on the program, um, they don't have any weight to lose, so some things had to stay, like their favorite bread and stuff like that. And we often have cereals in the house that my kids like and that I used to be a big fan of. But So things like that have taken some willpower on my part, and I'm not going to lie, I have um, flubbed up a time or two during this month, but it's for me... I told myself that I was going to give myself this month to ease my way back in and I was going to give myself grace for my mistakes and just hop back on three hours later and so basically that's what I've done. So I removed the regular sugar from our pantry because sometimes I would bake and I would use regular sugar and I replaced that with Truvia. Um, let's see, I ordered the integral, integral collagen. The, um, the green collagen from Amazon, and I've been using that in my coffee and in my drinks. Um, I've been incorporating um, Trim Healthy Mama shakes because I like I don't like to have to think about what I'm going to eat for, um, for breakfast or for lunch. I just want to wake up and do it and be done with it. So when I wasn't on Trim Healthy Mama, I would eat like a bowl of cereal and milk. Um, or I would have... One thing I did like to continue doing when I was not on Term Healthy Mama was bulletproof coffee in the morning with, um, but I would add sugary French vanilla uh, creamer because I like to have just a little bit of coffee with my creamer. I know you guys can't relate to that. I mean, can you? No. <laughs> so now, and please understand that I am a drive through Sue. I am not a purist by any means. I, I like chemicals. I, I enjoy chemicals. I know they're not the best thing for me, but you know, I've, I've got one life to live. And if I can't have a Coke Zero every once in a while, I'm not doing it. So anyway, so that being said, um, I have still continued to drink um, Coke Zero. I have seriously decreased the amount I drink though. Um, so that's really important to know. <laughs> um, Coke Zero now is a, a treat that I allow myself um, every so often, but I can't have it in the house. If I have cans or if I have a two liter in the house, I will drink it all. I have no self-control. Um, so it's basically if I'm going out with my family or I'm going out with my children or my husband, then it's a, a treat that I will allow myself a Coke Zero. Um, and that's just something for me. If I, like this month was my getting back into Trim Healthy Mama, it wasn't you know, I, I'm, I don't do well when I have to just stop something cold turkey and jump right into something new. It overwhelms me, overwhelms me completely. So to get myself started back on, there was like I just said, I, I got rid of some of the things in the house that were my trigger foods. And I started very gently and very easily. Breakfast, bacon and eggs. 
breakfast is easy. Bacon and eggs. Um, I've never been a big fan of like the overnight oats or anything like that. Um, I like bacon and eggs or I'll have um, like a shake. Um, I have made the um, Swiss bread that's in the book a few times. And let me just tell you, this Swiss bread has saved my life because I mean, you know that we can't eat normal bread and there's Ezekiel bread, but I'm not a big fan of Ezekiel bread. I just don't like the texture. It's just not, it's, it's like a deal breaker for me. I wanted bread that tasted and felt like bread. I wanted to be able to sop up all of the, the egg yolk from my eggs in the morning and I wanted to just nom nom. I mean, cause it's just not bacon and eggs without a piece of bread to sop your yolk up, right? So I've been making the Swiss loaf and it's phenomenal. Um, I make one loaf and one loaf will last me a week, sometimes less depending on, but I don't feel bad about eating it. That's the awesome thing. And so I, I, being that I am eating it and I'm still losing, that's fantastic for me. Now I will tell you this much, I have not been feeling well lately and I'm gonna tell you a little bit why. Um, when I first started jumping back on the Trim Healthy Mama um, wagon, I thought that I might be going through sugar withdrawals or detoxing. Um, we had just delivered um, two car loads of um, donations for the flood victims in Denham Springs and Ascension Parish. We had just done that and like literally the next week was when I was getting back to Trim Healthy Mama. Um, so. I, I don't understand quite, but apparently when going down there and driving through Ascension Parish and seeing just the utter devastation, um, it triggers something in me. And um, I don't know about you, but I have struggled with um, really severe depression and anxiety for most of my life. Um, I was diagnosed with um, chemical imbalance and depression at 16. Um, for the most part, um, when I was younger, I had some stints in some care facilities. You know, I was an angsty teen. Um, but for the most part, for most of my adult life, I've been able to keep myself fairly under control without medication. There have been times over the past, you know, 20 years where I have needed medication. But I, I honestly have not medicated, been medicated for probably about a good 15 years. Um, after we got back from Baton Rouge, I sort of was heading down like a spiral and I thought that it was detoxing from sugar. Um, I thought I was, you know, detoxing. Well, it was not. I apparently Baton Rouge or the Denim Springs triggered something in me because I, be, I started feeling very, when we were driving through there, I just felt this overwhelming sense of guilt. I just, I, I felt so guilty because these people, you know, 100,000 people lost everything and here we are in Louisiana three hours away and I still had everything. And so I felt incredibly guilty. I felt like I should be doing more than just bringing down donations, but at that point, that's all we could do. So over the weeks coming back from that, I started to sort of cycle. It, it just like a ball rolling down a hill, basically. And um, it got to the point where um, I couldn't even force myself to get out of bed. I, I couldn't brush, I wasn't, I couldn't brush my teeth. It was too much energy to lift my arm up, to hold my toothbrush for 60 seconds to a minute to brush my teeth. I couldn't do it. Um, I won't go into all the details. It was just, it did not take very long for my husband to realize what was going on and um, was like, okay, honey, we need to go to the doctor. Um, thank God for him because I kept thinking, it's just detox, I'm detoxing. Well, it was not. Um, I started back into um, a really intense depression. Um, I, I knew that it was bad because I started getting feelings of, I wish I could just go to sleep and not wake up. Nobody would miss me. They would be better off without me. There were never actually any feelings of, you know, I want to cut my wrists or I want to do this, but it was just even getting on like, um, I don't know if you're friends with me on Facebook, 
But while all of this was going on, I wasn't on Facebook. Like I would, sometimes I had the energy to pick up my phone and just sort of scroll, but I literally could not, did not have the energy to type and post anything. Um, I finally got the energy to type and post something in like a planner group that I was in. Basically, it was about my depression. And um, I, it was really nice to, to have the support from those ladies. But I didn't tell any of my family members. I, I just felt like everybody else has things going on right now and things that are going on that are a lot more important than what I was dealing with, so I didn't want to bother anyone. Um, but anyway, needless to say, all during that time, I, my husband is the one that kept me on plan. Um, and he made sure I ate because I didn't want to eat. I could have stayed in my bed. I could have stayed in my bed all day, got up to go to the bathroom. Um, thank God I have a 17-year-old son who basically saw that mom wasn't doing well and held it down for me because I don't know what I would have done without him. And he's never seen me like this before. Um, so even my kids knew that something serious was going on. And if it wasn't for my husband encouraging me to get help very quickly, I would probably still be, you know, festering in my bed. Um, so I'm back on, I've, I have been in the past, I've been on all kinds of different medications that they have tried on me over the years. Some were helpful, some were, many were not. One medication that was helpful for me was Effexor. Um, and it, I, if you've taken Effexor before, you know it takes a little while to build up in your system. So right now I'm two weeks in on Effexor and I'm, I felt good enough to do this video. I actually just got back home from um, a doctor's appointment uh, for psych and some so many people like that's such a bad word it's such a taboo word for so many women especially YouTube women like we, we want to feel like everyone we see on YouTube holds it all down together down to you know the manicured nails and the perfect kids and the, you know the crate you know the perfect life and if you are been subscribers for a while, you know my life has not been perfect and I've always been very upfront and honest with you guys about that. So that's why I wanted to be honest with you right now about that during my Trim Healthy Mama video because this happens to us and it's part of life. And sometimes when we're changing our eating habits and we're overhauling our lifestyle and our diet, things like that can happen that can kind of shake us up. And if it wasn't for my husband keeping me on my plan and literally my husband making sure that I was eating Trim Healthy Mama breakfast, lunch, and like he took control of my cookbook and um, he controlled what I was eating and um, because I was not in the kitchen, I wanted nothing to do with it. My, like if it wasn't for my husband and my son, you know, I, yeah, so I'm, I'm very blessed and I'm, I feel, I still, I have, I have, I'm Irish and I, and I, I come from a Catholic family. So I, I, I'm just born and bred with that guilt. There's a lot of guilt in me right now, but you know, by the grace of God, I'm, I'm coming out of this. I'm still not 100% feeling like my normal, usual self right now, but I wanted to make this video because my first video was pretty popular and I didn't want you guys to think that I had fallen off the wagon. I wasn't going to make any more videos. Um, so Sorry, I, I you know if if you know me, you know I get you know, I've disjointed thoughts and you know I, I actually yeah I got issues. So uh, like I said, um, what has helped me has been getting the bad stuff out of the house and then starting slow, like starting with the breakfasts. And so bacon and eggs and the Swiss bread. I made Swiss bread a few times. I actually, before all this happened, I had made like four loaves of Swiss bread in my bread maker and I put them in the freezer. So my husband had the Swiss bread for me. And he would cut up a piece and, and, um, yeah, so that was really good for me. Um, as I started to feel better, um, he still came home and he still cooked a lot. And like, I just can't stress to you enough how hard this man, how much he loves me because he's in the army. And so he would go to work all day and then he would come home and he would still cook and he would take care of me. And he didn't bat an eye when I said, yeah, I just, I have no energy. I have to go to sleep. I can't. And he just go upstairs and rest and so really just absolute blessing um, but I'm feeling better now I'm about to go downstairs and make uh, a trim healthy mama dinner for my family what helps as far as meal planning and all that stuff is like I'm not a good meal planner but what I did was I set the book down in front of my kids 
and I said, go through the book and I want you to look at the pictures and find four meals that you wouldn't mind trying. And so they found four. I made a shopping list, gave it to my husband. At this point right now, I still don't like going out that much. So my husband is doing all the grocery shopping right now and he takes one of our kids with him. Um, I just don't have the energy to walk around a grocery store to grocery shop right now. I just, I don't have it. I'm not there yet. So <coughs> I give him the list and then he goes out and get it. Um, I'm not really snacking a lot right now. Um, I'm trying, I, I think my meals are pretty much big enough to, to keep me full. If I do need a snack, normally it's like I'm craving chocolate. So like I just had a piece of skinny chocolate a few minutes ago. And um, sometimes I'll even have that skinny chocolate after an email. I can only do emails, very small e portions once a day. Um, otherwise, I retain fluid in my hands and my fingers and in my foot. Actually, my left foot. Um, yeah, I know. It's so weird. Why my left foot? I have no idea. It just does. It's bigger than my right foot. It swells. It's really weird. Um, what else has been really helpful? Um, taking it one day at a time. If I'm not prepared for the meals the next day, I don't stress about it. I'm trying not to stress about it. Um, rather than making some intricate meal from the book, we try to break it down. Okay, we'll have a meat and we'll have vegetables. My kids will have rice and I won't have rice. It's simple. That's a simplified meal. A good healthy meat, vegetables. Boom. It's a no-brainer. So that's really helpful right now. I'm actually about to go downstairs um, in just a few minutes and I'm going to brave the kitchen and I'm going to um, do like the almond flour chicken tenders. I'm making chicken tenders and I'm breading them with almond flour and uh, all that good stuff. It's, it's from the book. It's in there. I have a little post-it note on the recipe. I just don't remember what it's called. Um, and then we're just going to have frozen vegetables with it because that's literally all I've got today. All I got. Um, yeah, so six pounds down um, and I'm still going despite having a health setback and a psychological setback. Um, yeah, so I will keep you guys updated. I'm trying to think if, it's, if there's anything else that would be healthy. Oh, I'm drinking um, Good Girl Moonshine during the day sometimes. Um... Um, and sometimes my good girl moonshine consists of a crystal light pouch into a big thing of water with lots of ice and then like a little bit of apple cider vinegar. That's it. That's my good girl moonshine. That's it. That's all I got. And so it's nothing, it's not special. I'm not using any of the ginger. I'm not using anything else like that. Um, but it works for me and, um... I can definitely tell a difference when I am drinking it, when I'm not, not so much in like weight loss, but I can sort of feel it in my joints. Um, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, that's my update. I'm sorry it's not a better update. I'm sorry I don't have like meal plans and recipes and stuff for you. Um, I'm hoping that next month update, um, I'll be more together by then. <laughs> um, and, um, I will have more for you. So hopefully I'll see you again next month. Uh, Maybe you could be, well, sorry about my sports brother. Maybe you'll be able to see my clavicle a little bit more, you know. Maybe I'll be another five or six pounds down, so we will see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, my phone pings whenever someone comments or leaves me a question, so I'll do my best to um, reply as quickly as possible. So thank you guys so much, and good luck on your continued Trim Healthy Mama journey. Just keep plugging away. Just keep at it. Um, there is a learning curve to trim healthy mamas, but just keep trying. Don't give up. And if you fall off the wagon, just hop back on three hours later, okay?